Musical Theater Southwest has been bringing quite a few shows to life this season, including their New Mexico Entertainment award-winning production of Cabaret and Broadway thriller Sweeney Todd. Their next production, Next to Normal, will bring challenging topics to the stage. Tonight we have Rob Cisneros, the show's director, to talk more about it. Rob, thanks for joining us today to talk more about MTS's new show, Next to Normal. So I want to start by asking you, I mean, there's a lot of choices for musicals and, and plays that you can do with the theater. Why this one? What was it that caught your guys' eye to do this one? Well, I can't speak for the board of directors. I, uh, I mean, MTS itself uh, chose the season. Um, I do know that they were looking at shows this for this current season that were a little bit more on the darker side. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, opening up with Cabaret, moving into Sweeney Todd, and then uh, coming into Next to Normal uh, was a nice flow for that type of a theme. For me, the draw, uh, I saw the original Broadway production uh, in 2009 mm -hmm. um, and uh, in New York. It just, it, it touched me very much to see not just the storyline, but the development of the characters. Um, I was also very lucky to see uh, the translated version about five years ago in Mexico City and uh, sort of caught my attention again and that desire to, uh, if someone does that show, I'm putting in to direct it. <laughs> so when it popped up on the season for uh, Musical Theater Southwest, it gave me the opportunity to jump in and say, oh, no, I, I have some ideas on how I want this presented and how I want it staged. And uh, I'm really glad that they gave me the opportunity. Now, what, um, for those who or not lucky enough to see the actual Broadway production when it was out. Can you tell us a little bit about what the, uh, what the show is about? The show deals with the family unit of the Goodmans. Diana is the mother. She has been uh, diagnosed bipolar um, along with sort of a lot of a laundry list of, of other mental illness um, characterizations. Mm -hmm. And so she's also been treated in various ways through about approximately 20 years of her life. Uh, when the show opens, we learn this very quickly and, and learn this very uh, onset of the production. But what draws me in to the story is the fact that it's not about her and her mental illness. It is about how the mental illness affects the entire family unit. And I think we sometimes forget that it's not just the individual that's sick with any disease, be it mental illness or, or, or any other. Mm -hmm. it, it's how that affects the entire family unit. So we see the different dynamics throughout the show and it unfolds. We also see what has triggered her, not just 20 years ago, but what has been a continuous trigger or triggers uh, within the family and the different treatments that she has endured mm -hmm. Um, mostly uh, medications and how they're going to proceed now that sh another episode has has sort of taken over the family. Oh, wow. And the auditions are happening on the 21st and 22nd. Right. So auditions are f this coming Friday night and, and Saturday. And uh, I'm excited to see who comes out <laughs> because I get to sit down and try to create this family unit. There's only seven characters in the show. Mm -hmm. So it's a very intimate show, uh, unlike some of the other shows that I've directed, which have a large ensemble or, you know, dancing unit. There's a little bit of dance, but there's no choreographer for yeah. this show. Yeah. And uh, being able to see these auditions this next weekend and, and uh, see what our actors here in the community can bring to these characters and sort of bring my vision yeah. to life. So... When it comes to, I mean, you're used to working with larger ensembles. It, are you approaching this in a different way, being that you're only dealing with seven actors on the stage? It definitely helps the approach from a scheduling perspective. I don't need to schedule as much rehearsal time for choreography or for larger ensemble scenes, mm -hmm. which uh, take a little longer to direct because you want to be able to help each of the ensemble develops some type of character. And sometimes in a larger cast ensemble, they are playing multiple characters in multiple scenes. 
in this particular case, we're really going to be zeroing in on the characters because they're only playing one character through the whole show. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the other. I feel like that's going to be a bit easier. So when it comes to this production, what do you want the audience walking away with when they, when they leave that theater? What I walked away with the first time I saw it, I, I walked away in awe of the onion that is the show mm -hmm. and all of its layers and how all of it fit on stage in one story through its secrets and everything else that came to life. Um, you know, one of the, the, the songs is I'm Alive. And uh, while it has different meanings in it, that's what I th would really like for people to, to walk away with because it's, it's living through a disease. Yeah. It's how you survive it. It's how you deal with it and um, how we deal with life in general. Well, where can people learn more about the show? As far as buying tickets or mm -hmm. also auditioning for yes. the show, because I do want more people to sign up and come <laughs> and audition for. Uh, my, my music director, Colin uh, Burge, is, uh, there's a lot of music in this show. So uh, he's very anxious to sit down with me, and we've teamed up a couple of times. So we're looking forward to, to Friday night to be able to cast this show. Uh, you can contact MTS. The telephone number is 505 Two six five nine one one nine. You can get more information off the website, which is MTSABQ, <laughs> uh, and uh, you can uh, go on the website. You can uh, find the link, sign up for auditions. Uh, I think there's still some slots for Friday night. Definitely slots for Saturday morning available mm -hmm. before we go into callbacks Saturday afternoon. Well, Rob, thank you for coming out tonight to talk with us, and congratulations on the new show. Thank Definitely you, thank looking you. forward to it. Let's get your tickets. Definitely. We, we, we open September 29th. All right. We'll be back.